In today's lesson, we are looking at the probability scale and the probability of an event. The probability scale goes from 0 to 1, where, where 0 means that something's impossible, and 1 means something is certain. An even chance is given as a half, so 1 over 2, and it's halfway between 0 and 1, which is halfway on our scale. There aren't any of the uh, parts written in here, but they could be. So, for instance, you could have a quarter written in. You could also have three quarters. Now, to find the probability of an event happening, we use the following formula. So, probability of an event happening is equal to the number of ways an event can occur divided by the total number of possible outcomes. When we're working and when we're doing our answers, we don't tend to actually write the probability of something. We tend to write P then in the brackets the event. And that just means probability of an event. So for example, if I asked you what the probability of rolling a four and a dice was, we could say with P bracket four. So that means the probability of getting a 4. And how many 4s on the dice? Well, there's 1. And there's 6 numbers on the dice. So there's 1 of the 6 chance. Or 1 6. Now if I ask you what the probability of selecting the Queen from a deck of cards. To the P bracket Queen. Now there are 4 Queens in the deck of cards. And there are also 52 cards. So the probability of picking a queen is 4 to 52. So our first example, it says uh, Chris picks one card at random from the 10 cards shown above. On the probability scale shown below, mark the points A, B and C. Where A is a probability that he picks a card with a circle on it. B is a probability that Chris picks a card with a triangle on it, and C, he picks a card with a pentagon on it. And here we have our probability scale going from 0 to 1. So let's work our way through. Let's start off with A. So what is the probability that Chris picks a card with a circle? Well, let's start off by counting the number of circles. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 circles. So that's 5 out of, and the question tells us that there's 10 cards there. But if you want, you could also count to make sure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 is the same as a half. So A is halfway. Now B, what's the probability that Chris picks a card with a triangle on it? So we count the number of triangles. So it's one triangle. So that's only one out of ten. Now it's quite difficult to spot where one tenth will go on the scale. But we know this is half, and one tenth is less than a half. So if we knew this was a quarter, well we know one tenth is less than a quarter. So one tenth will be quite close to zero. So you could draw a line and write B. And if you wanted to, you could also write the probability of it. Uh, now C, what's the probability that Chris picks a card with a pentagon on it? We'll go a quick look. There is no card that looks like this one. So we can't pick a card with a pentagon on it. It's impossible. So there's zero of them. So it's zero to ten. So it's impossible. So this one goes here. And that's it. There's three marks for this question. One for each letter. So A, B and C. So our next question is a little bit similar. 
it says that one card is chosen at random from the six cards shown above. So there's six cards. Mark the positions of P, Q and R on the probability scale given below. So here's our probability scale from 0 to 1. Now P is a probability of the number on a card being 4. Q is a probability of the number of card being less than 10. And R is a probability of a card being greater than 8. So, let's start off with P. What's the probability of the number on the card being 4? So, let's start off by counting out 4. So, it's 1, 2, 3. So, there are 3 4s out of the 6 cards. So, 3 over 6, that's the same as a half. So, we'd write P here. And if you wanted to put the probability underneath it, you can. Now Q is the probability of the number on the card being less than 10. So we have a look how many of these are less than 10. What else? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 of them are less than 10. So that means all of them are less than 10. So we could say we are certain that whichever card we pick is going to be less than 10. And because it's certain, we put Q here under 1, because 1 means it's certain. And R says, what's the probability of a number on a card being greater than 8? So greater than 8 means more than, so more than 8. So if we count, we have 1, 9, and that's it. So it's only one out of the six that's greater than eight. Now to write this on the probability scale, well it's only less than a half. A quarter is here. So it's only less than a quarter. So you could write it here. So that'd be R one six. Now you don't have to worry if you don't get the one sixth or the one tenth in the last example spot on where they exactly should be on the scale because you will be given a mark as long as it's a sensible estimate of where they should be. So the next question it says in the meeting there are three teachers, twelve male pupils and nine female pupils. All are equally likely to be chosen as chairperson. What is the probability that the person chosen as chairperson is a female pupil? So female pupils, what are we looking for? So we do a probability of a female pupil. So first of all, how many female pupils are there? There's nine. And how many people are there all together? Well, there's 3, 12, and 9. So you could do your work and over here to add them up if you wanted to. So 3 add 12 is 15, and 9 is 24. So that's 9 of 24. You notice you could simplify this fraction, but in probability there's no need to simplify the fraction. And it's probably best not to, in case you make a mistake when you do simplify it. And the next question, it says that a bag contains three yellow blocks, five green blocks, and seven red blocks. The blocks are all identical except for their colour. One block is taken at random from the bag. Okay, so part A. What is the probability that it, that it is a red block? So, P, and then brackets red. So how many red blocks are there? Well, there's seven. So it's seven out of, so we have three yellows, five greens, and the seven red. You can add those up together. Three add five is eight, and seven is 15. So it's 7 out of 50. 
And for part B, what is the probability that it is not a red block? Well, if seven of them are red blocks, to work out how many aren't, we could do 15, take away 7 is equal to 8. So the probability that it's not red is equal to the 8 over 15. So it's still 15 blocks. Now in your big books, make sure you have put Gwaith Dospa, the title, and you've copied all the notes and the examples in, please. Thank you.